So in this video, I wanna share 12 different cardigan style outfits that you can actually incorporate into your own wardrobe or just use as style inspiration. To me, cardigans are one of the most underused pieces of clothing that a man can pretty much wear for any time during the year. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. So today I'm going to go ahead and share with you 12 different uh, styles that I personally use uh, that are color coordinated, really just two um, colors and it's the cardigan and then of course my top and my bottoms. Um, and hopefully this will you know, be something that you can use as a way of styling um, your own clothes in your own wardrobe. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first, what we have here is we have teal. Now, teal is a hard color to find for men. Uh, and believe me, it took me a long time to actually find this color uh, in a way that matched both the top and the bottom. But I've paired it with a cherry red, which goes for a very, very nice look. I actually wore this not that long ago. Uh, and I had both men and women, um, you know, telling me how much that they actually liked the look and, and the color that goes with it. Typically when I wear cardigans, I'm always wearing, a, I'm almost always wearing a pin uh, and then of course my white belt and my white pants, I'm sorry, my white belt and my white shoes um, that add a nice touch to the color scheme that I have going on. Next up we have Kelly Green. This is another very vivid color, but this time not so much for the cardigan as I would say it is for the top and the bottom. Uh, paired with a, um, a textured uh, cardigan that's a little bit on the thicker side and even though it's soft, on the inside, uh, it is really more meant for probably late fall, um, winter, uh, in terms of the style of it. So this is, I want to say this is probably the only cardigan that I actually own that looks really, really good with this Kelly green. There's other stuff. There's other ones that I have as well that look okay, but, um, this is probably the only one that I can honestly say that I enjoy wearing when I do wear it, even though I don't wear it that often, but it is something that you can try. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and you wanna step back from uh, more vivid colors and you wanna do something that's a little bit more on the neutral side, you can of course go with your traditional khaki uh, like I have here styled with um, a navy blue. It's uh, a little dull, but uh, it is a really, really good fit. And actually I didn't even realize until after I had shot um, some photos of myself uh, wearing this outfit, how good it actually looks on me. And I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably end up wearing it a little bit more after um, having shot this video. So uh, this is another style that I actually own and that I've worn several uh, on several different occasions, but I don't typically find myself wearing it all that frequently. Um, but, you know, again, looking at it, I would probably say that chances are I'm going to be wearing it a lot more frequently the more I get out. So here you have more of a more of an off white and ivory um, cream, whatever you want to call it, um, mixed with a nice cherry red. And I'm actually kind of surprised because it hadn't been too long since I put this outfit together, um, even though I actually had these individual pieces for quite a long time. I just haven't really been focusing on experimenting um, with my wardrobe as of late, but um, I've gotten a lot of compliments. This is something that you can go ahead and try, and it definitely stands out. I love the light um, look with the, with the vivid red. All right, we have caramel here um, being mixed in with the navy blue. And um, I had tried different colors with uh, caramel before, but none of them really looked quite as good um, or as befitting as the navy. So that's just what I stuck with. And um, even though I don't really wear this one that often either, um, I do love the color scheme. And it is definitely one of my favorites uh, that I personally own. I have no idea why I am posed like a superhero here. These colors are obviously more bold. Um, and if you are like me and you like experimenting with color, you can go ahead and you can try this. I will say that um, if you're going to wear um, navy blue, which navy blue doesn't necessarily look super great on my skin tone, um, you know, you might want to go for something that's probably more red with with the navy blue versus the yellow, like what I have right here. Um, I don't think it looks bad. I just think that I probably could have chosen a better color. 
um, but nevertheless, it is still an outfit that I actually that I absolutely love and that I do enjoy wearing from time to time. I just um, think that <laughs> maybe I I could have gone with maybe a different shade here, but nonetheless, I still really really enjoy this outfit. I will just go ahead and tell you right here now that this is definitely one of my all-time favorite outfits that I enjoy wearing, and this is putting cardigans aside just out of everything that I own. Um, I, I love, I actually find myself wearing this outfit probably more so than any other outfit that I own. Um, and you know, for somebody that didn't used to have red in his wardrobe literally at all for many, many years, um, I have totally fallen in love with red. Any color scheme that is red, blue, white, it's always going to go really, really well together. Um, and I get tons and tons and tons and tons of feedback and compliments on this particular outfit. Obviously the color red attracts the human eye more than any other color uh, in the color spectrum and you're going to get a lot of attention if you're wearing this much red uh, as what it is that I'm wearing right here but it's definitely something that you can go ahead and go for. Okay so we have brown here uh, and this is a coffee brown with a top and bottom matching with a lighter um, brown. Uh, as a cardigan and it is micro textured. Now one thing I will say is that um, probably more so than any other color, brown, well I would say brown and grays um, look look good with themselves. So um, if you really wanna complement a brown, you're probably better off going for a more monochromatic look because I don't think any color really looks good with brown than another shade or tint of brown. Just like I don't think any color looks good with gray more so than another tint or shade. Of gray so that's what I decided to go for here I think it uh, makes for a nice elegant look a nice sophisticated look um, and brown is pretty easy to um, to to kind of style up and um, to go for a more casual um, look if that's what it is that you're going for speaking of gray I am wearing a gray um, cardigan from Todd Snyder along with a black top and bottom and I think it looks really, really nice. Usually when I wear black, I don't wear it with any other color. I just wear it with either like, um, you know, a charcoal or, or a lighter gray, but I typically don't, or, or white, um, but I typically don't mix in black with, with colors. I just don't think, for me, I don't, I don't think it really looks all that great. I know there's other people that have done it and I'm not saying that it looks bad. I just think for me personally, I, I prefer to, go for a more monochromatic look when it comes to black, just like when it comes to brown as well. It took a little while, but pine green is a harder color to find um, for both my top uh, and my bottom, but I did manage to do that over years of buying and returning and buying and returning and buying and returning. Now, one thing I will say about this is that um, this is a great color scheme uh, which is why I'm sharing it with you guys. Uh, but also, uh, I think it's good for mustard, which is a previous color that you saw um, with my royal blue. It's good for grays and some other um, more neutral um, colors, but it's also good with red as well. Uh, however, if you don't want people constantly telling you that you look like Christmas, you might want to stay away from the red if you're going to be wearing green. But other than that, I think it's a very, very good style to go with. All right, so here you have navy styled with a... Um, it's kind of like a micro textured cardigan with brown and navy in it. It might be a little hard to see, um, but it's there. But um, this is a outfit that I don't typically find myself wearing too much, not because I don't like it, um, but the cardigan is a little bit on the thicker side, although it probably looks thin in the photo. Um, so I typically wear it more so for your fall and your winter um, seasons, not so much summer right now, um, but it is something that you can go ahead and try. Uh, and if you're looking for a more darker look, again, something that you can try. All right, last but not least, you have crimson red uh, paired with a cardigan that is like a, like a white mixed with blue. It might look a little gray on the screen, I'm not really sure, but um, it is a cardigan that I did get from Mango. Uh, more than likely over some time, I will probably share a video where you can actually buy a lot of cardigans that are very similar to the ones that I'm sharing in this video um, and you know what you can expect out of the cardigans. I typically don't wear, I'm, I typically don't wear some of the cardigans that I've kept for a very long period of time only because I haven't really been going out as much, but those are my 12 
um, cardigan two style outfits that I wanted to share with you guys today as inspiration. So with that being said, please follow me on all social media uh, at Yami Mist on Instagram and also at Yami Mist on Twitter. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.